So in the last video, I started putting nine inch housing ends on an 8.8. .8. So in this video, I'm gonna basically finish that. So I get a ton of questions about the 8.8 .8 rear ends that come in the Mustangs and whether they're strong enough, if they're stronger or weaker than say a nine inch. And there's not really a fast short answer for that. Um, but they are way stronger than people give them credit. If you think about it, it's an 8.8 .8 .8 inch ring gear versus a nine inch ring gear, which is like 0.2 of an inch. So, I mean, when you're talking about ring gear size, basically the same thing. And then the aftermarket for these things is huge. So you can get all kinds of stuff, including nine inch housing ends. So really the weak point in an 8.8 .8 is the actual bearings in the end of the housing. Um, it's got more of a needle style bearing. So that's them there. So you can see the needle bearings in there. And really the biggest downfall is that if you were to break an axle, there's nothing keeping that axle from just sliding out, right? There's a C-clip in the very center of the axle. So if that thing breaks anywhere in between, the, what's left of the axle, the wheel, the tire, all that stuff's just going to come out down the track, down the road, whatever. So a lot of guys will use C-clip eliminators, which is basically a pressed on bearing um, that bolts to the side of the factory housing on the 8.8. .8. And it has its limitations as well. And so uh, what a lot of guys are doing now is they're just switching over to a nine inch housing end. So you weld those ends on. It takes the same bearing that the nine inch, uh, four nine inch takes. And so you can just get axles for those and then that kind of solves all the problems. So it's an easy fix. If you don't want to convert a full nine inch over into your car, um, just putting the nine inch housing ends on these, you can still run all the 8.8 .8 stuff. All your brackets and all, all the factory brackets and all that stuff are still good. So that's what we're going to do today. Going to weld these onto that housing. I've already kind of got them prepped. Going to go in here and weld this up, uh, the tubes to the actual housing themselves. And then we're going to gusset the front of these things. The reason I can't do it here though is because to do this the proper way, you need basically a jig that makes sure that the center of the carrier lines up perfectly straight with the center bearings on these housings um, just to weld these on here flush with the tube may not necessarily be correct so if any of you guys ever want to narrow a rear end or whatever um, just making sure that the piece matches back up and is straight may not be the proper alignment because these tubes here are can be crooked from the factory so uh, what you really want to do is run one solid rod through here and they make jigs that do that. So really all that's left for me to do, load this stuff up, load the housing ends up, throw it in the back of the fab cab and then head over to my buddy's place. Until I get here. Just hoping that we 
you'd have something. Maybe you had some here. I got some here. Oh. I'm just using my. Steel? What? Solid steel? Bar is, yeah. The bushings are aluminum. Bar steel. It's the paper.
right, there you go, plain and simple. Nine inch housing ends on an 8.8, .8, couple gussets. This thing's ready to go. 1500 horsepower, no problem. A lot of guys do this. You would think that a lot of guys would switch over the nine inch rear ends, but believe it or not, a lot of guys run these 8.8s and they just put the nine inch housing ends on them. Um, they're super strong like this and really not much difference much difference than 8.8 .8 and a nine inch ring gears. I mean, the size of the ring gears are almost identical. You lose a little bit of weight with this, this uh, rear end housing. But um, anyway, I'll show you guys, I don't do customer work and I don't really, I mean, every once in a while somebody will talk me into doing something like this. Uh, maybe when I get in the new shop, get some help, maybe I'll start taking on a little bit of customer work. But for right now, it just doesn't make any sense. I don't have enough time to work on my own stuff, let alone somebody else's stuff. So if you want to check out the car that this is going in, go over to Instagram, Sick Fox. I'll put a little link in the uh, description. Go check it out. Super nice car. Um, if you would quit upgrading everything, it might be done. So anyway, there you go. Short little video. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. Go do work, son.